Hello and welcome back to another Fortnite video. So, you might be wondering, with the new metas, the new chapter, chapter 5, brought to us in the new season, chapter 5, season 2, what is the best heal to carry? I'll give you the rundown. So, as you know, with the new mobility, Icarus Swings and Shockwaves being in the game, some people might only have one slot of heals. So, what might that one slot be filled up with? As you know, there's medkits, bandages, flowberries, Surfish, if you fish for them, minis, big pots, and the new Flowberry Fizz. So, I'll run down. Solos. The best thing to pick up is between either Flowberry Fizz or minis. I'm not going to say Slurpfish because they're kind of inconvenient to get. I think they're honestly kind of an out-of-the-picture heal item that I don't know is going to be in a lot of people's loadouts. I usually don't see Slurpfish being picked up. Just because, you know, it's it's you're not just going to practically have three Slurpfish as much as you would have six minis or a thing of Flowberry Fizz. So definitely not those. Moving on. Flowberries. There's this little thing about Flowberries last season in mobility. I think that's kind of out of the picture because they literally added a better option of Flowberries. The Flowberry Fizz. Definitely making carrying like a stack of six Flowberries irrelevant. So that is out of the picture. Now down to minis, big pots, and blueberry fizz. All give you shield, but one gives you mobility. Definitely the best between miniatures and biggies. Would have to go to probably big pots. You can move around while drinking both now, since chapter 5 started. And being able to heal on spot with the big pots and heal up quickly while being able to move helps a lot and I feel like they may have made an important spot considering you just have to sit still for five seconds which in the middle of an intense fight five seconds is between life and death in the middle of a box fight so definitely not the best option back then but now they've become a little bit more meta moving on the benefits of flowberry fizz so in a team format not only does this heal you it heals your team it has a splash effect as you see it shoots and goes everywhere around you, healing your teammates, which is a great effect. Not only that, you see I'm jumping pretty fast. This sucker gives you mobility. Even if you don't need shields, but you get your team around you, and you pop just like a little bit like this, give everybody that little jump effect. Now you all got mobility. You can push a fight pretty good and confident with being able to jump around that fast. Definitely worth picking up, and definitely making flowberries, I feel like, better than slap splashes when they were in the game and probably better than chug splashes to carry around it'd be cool to see flowberry splashes that would be cool if the epic added that to the heal plot of items that they have for heals what do y'all think do y'all think flowberry splashes will be added they didn't have slap splashes in immediately so i wouldn't expect flowberry splashes or just flow splashes whatever they would call them to be in until maybe next season or a patch this season I think I heard Cypher PK mention this in this video, how they could make that a thing. What do y'all think? Comment that down below. So that's going to wrap up this video. I would definitely suggest picking up Flowberry Fizz because that's 100 charge and it's good for mobility and group healing. What do you think in the comments of my answer? Put that down below. Thank y'all for watching this video. I'm going to end it up here. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more content. I also do playing with viewer streams, so if you would like to play with me on Fortnite sometime, in creative battle royale etc just subscribe thank you for watching have a great day